What is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike. I'm a full-time used bookseller. I primarily sell on Amazon FBA. I enjoy the convenience of sending my old stinky books in and they can deal with shipping them to the customers and dealing with the customer service so I can just sit back and collect a paycheck. So today's video is going to be another trade-in video. So if you guys didn't see my first video, every once in a while when I do bulk book buys or I get books returned from Amazon, um, <clears throat> instead of just redonating them, I take them to the store here, Second and Charles. It, they have uh, basically anything, all kinds of media, books, games, CDs, records, uh, even my sweet gremlin shirt i got this with my trading credit i swear i didn't purposely wear this shirt today it's just what i wanted to wear so i got three bags of books we're going to trade in we have been doing pretty good here with trading credit i always take the store credit they do offer cash but cash is usually only half of what the store credit is so the way i look at it I'm either gonna find something for myself, for my wife, or we'll probably wind up using the credit to get a few of the kids in the family um, Christmas presents. So these are books, otherwise I would just literally donate or get rid of. There's no point in wasting my time and listing all these books on eBay. There's no money in it, it's no, it would just be a headache and, and there's a pretty good amount of them. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works. We're gonna take in our three bags, we're gonna fill up some bins we take them up to the counter, they give us a little ticket. They'll text me when it's ready, then I'll come back and see the offer. I'll show you guys around the store a little bit so you can see what they have. We got some pretty cool stuff in here, you know? I mean, personally, I'm a grown up kid, so I like to call myself, you know, I still enjoy video games and certain collectibles. I still get a few Funko Pops here and there. I got my last one from here, it was uh, Sloth from the Goonies. So, I mean, this is why I like trading this stuff in because I can always, if they have something I want, I can get it for myself basically for free. So, I'll show you guys the bag so you have a kind of estimate of how many books and uh, I'll drag you guys inside. So, let's get to it.
January guy, so I got my text message from Second and Charles letting me know the offer was ready. So once you get up there, they give you a little ticket. You see it's got uh, my name, how many totes. Only had two totes, and then I had a separate order. Me and my wife had a bunch of double Pokemon cards, so we had a whole box of doubles, and they just started taking Pokemon cards. So I had uh, two totes of books and one tote of Pokemon cards. The books they processed today, the Pokemon cards, as they say, probably takes two or three days because they got to look them up and, you know, whatever. So our two totes got us $44.30 credit. So that was pretty good. So it was about around what I thought we were going to get. A lot of these books, you know, were just ones I wouldn't have got. They didn't take four books. I'm going to show you what four books they didn't want. Out of the Black Shadows, they didn't want that junk. An American Sickness. How healthcare became big business and how you can take it back. Yeah, good luck with that. The Brief Bedford Reader. This this is a textbook, so I, I didn't even realize it. So that's why I, this place doesn't take textbooks. So, of course, they didn't take that. And then of all the letdowns, they did not want the Mamma Mia Italian Cookbook. What a shame. So... Like I said, you got extra books laying around. They're not worth nothing on eBay. Ain't worth nothing on Amazon. You're doing free book pickups, bulk book buys. Places like this, you turn that nothing into some money. And I wound up getting my wife something. It's all wrapped up in paper because it's kind of like a, a nice little figurine. Got it for nothing. So, I mean, I can't complain about that. She'll be happy when she sees it. So, I'm going to take that home to her. So, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, this video gives you guys... A, a different thought process when it comes to just completely getting rid of books if they're not worth nothing so places like this second and charles mccall's there's even local bookshops that do it too so make sure you guys look into it if you don't have one of these big chains by you call some of your local bookshops they'll even give you store credit for some of this stuff so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more book thrifting videos Bye bye